This is a video response to um, the claim of a water-fueled car. Um, and actually, Jimmy Klein, the inventor, doesn't really make any claims that are too fantastic. The only thing that he actually says uh, that isn't real chemistry is that his gas is HHO. And actually, this isn't a stable chemical structure. Um, and from what I can tell, it's much more likely that all he is using is pure, ordinary hydrogen. And actually, if you take a look at the torch that he's using, it looks exactly as though he's using a torch without an oxygen component, and it's just allowing the torch to react with ambient oxygen. Now, to clarify this somewhat, take a close look at the flame when, just, when there's a comparison between the acetylene torch and, the, uh, and his new torch. And you'll see that the, 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 just the flame part for the new torch is much thinner and, and fainter than it is for the acetylene torch. And the reason is that acetylene has an oxygen and an acetylene tube that connect at the tip where the ignition actually happens. The ignition happens inside the, the part of the torch part, the tip part of the torch, before it's emitted out of the aperture at the end. And, uh, and the reason for this is because the ambient oxygen is just too diffuse uh, to maintain a very powerful reaction. Um, and this is also the reason that the tip heats up so much, because the, the chemical reaction is happening inside the tip uh, the metal of the tip heats up, whereas with his with his invention, uh, the tip doesn't heat up because there's no reaction going on there. It's just pure hydrogen inside, um, and you can see this even more evidently when he plays it over the the brass sphere. The turbulence as the hydrogen goes over the sphere uh, allows it to become mixed with the ambient oxygen and react much more quickly. Uh, finally, he also mentions that he's not really using pure uh, pure hydrogen for his car, or pure HHO for his car. And the reason for this probably is that uh, hydrogen and oxygen combust at, uh, I think, 5,900 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, and that's enough to melt the cylinders of your car and, uh, and the valves of your car shut. So not a good condition. But if you mix it with gas, you get a little bit of extra energy, but not the temperature that will wreck your engine. Um, and this is also probably the reason why he made the mistake of saying that the flame temperature is hotter than the surface of the sun. Uh, hydrogen oxygen flame is hotter than oxyacetylene, but uh, I think he got his units mixed up. The temperature of the surface of the sun is around 5,500 degrees, or I think 5,300 degrees Celsius. The temperature of oxygen hydrogen is 5,900 degrees Fahrenheit, or 3,200 degrees Celsius. So he just got the units mixed up. Uh, anyway, there's no perpetual energy machine here. There's nothing new. It's actually just a water torch, which is known to jewelers and electronics uh, specialists already.